Hello and welcome folks, Posmere. I want to show you a tutorial on how to change entrance animations and winning animations for any superstar in WWE 2K16. Now first you're going to want to have WWE 2K16 loaded up. Now I'm just going to open up Cheat Engine, bring it onto the screen here. I'm going to attach it. And now we want to go into Memory View. I'm going to put this off to the side here. We're going to go over to my memory spreadsheet, which you'll be able to find in my Smack Talks thread. Now we're going to have two tabs open here. Uh, one is an animation tab. One is the memory tab. So first off, let's see who we want to change. I have Big E Langston highlighted here. So I'm going to go over. You can see that I have the entrance animation hex highlighted. So I'm going to right click copy and right click go to address, right click paste to go to his entrance animation hex. Now this might not read so well, but what you can do now is display type four byte decimal and you'll see 626 and 626. We go over here, 626 is Dolph Ziggler's championship animation. That's something I actually changed him to. I changed it for my promo video for this. I didn't think I actually saved, so that's why it caught me a bit off guard. But uh, if you want to change it, you can see here, this first one, this first number is the base entrance animation. And then the second one is the animation with a championship. So if you want to make these two different animations, you can do so. This is not, unfortunately, any sort of advanced match editor, you cannot do that with this. So you can go through and change any of these to these numbers that you see over to the side. You can use, I've highlighted some of the animations that you normally cannot select. And I also have some of the team animations, which is something you'll be able to similarly do. But let's say we want to give him Samoa Joe's entrance with a towel, we want to double click and change this to the number that is highlighted here. So this is going to be 579. I'm going to hit OK. You can see that change for just a moment. And now I'm going to go over and type this one as 579. And then hit OK once again, and that's going to be changed as well. So now I'm going to go over to one on one to demonstrate this real quick. And I'm going to make a quick cut to show you Big E's new entrance. So with a lot of the prop animations that we're not normally able to select, they will normally go through the regular animation. And then at the end here you see a towel being thrown off here by Samoa Joe's towel entrance, which is of no real consequence. But I am highlighting it nonetheless as it is an option. You can have John Cena's hat, which will sometimes cause issues. If a character is of different heights, there will be different height values and the objects may float in air. Now, I demonstrated quite a few uh, hidden animations in there, one of which in particular is the Tyler Breeze selfie cam. Now, this one was pretty interesting when I first found it. I did not know that this was in the game but that is exactly what I went through and checked all of these for is to find animations that you cannot normally select like Enzo Amore's or give Neville's cape. Uh, many of them with managers, the managers also will not appear. But another use case for this is actually selecting ported over entrances. Now for WWE 2K16, I've ported over several entrances from 2K15 in my port thread, which I will also have in the description. And in this file, you can see that there are a couple of file names in this text file that's included in it. And you can see that Rob Van Dam is 504. Fandango with Dancer is 419. You've got a couple different Alberto Del Rio entrances, a couple different Hulk Hogan entrances, and then uh, Ray Mysterio, CM Punk, uh, an alternate Shawn Michaels entrance from the uh, showcase. And we have a couple other John Cena entrances here. Now, some of these are, many of these are missing props as the props are not in there from WWE 2K15. 
but I'm including this uh, as possibly future props might be added. Now to go over to winning animations, we want to scroll down to the 6,000s here and you see some numbers are labeled with winning animations. Not all of them have been tested yet to exactly what they are. Hopefully I'll be able to fill these in over time or if any of you guys want to fill this in over time we can work on getting this filled out. I also have some ported winning animations from WWE2K15 as well which is also in my port thread so you can see Xavier Woods, Damian Sandow, uh, the Great Kali, uh, some HBK winning animations, of course, from all of the ported wrestlers here, Hulk Hogan, RVD, Rey Mysterio. Now, for editing winning animations, we're going to go back to this file, and we can go over to the right here and see a winning animation title, and we can right-click, copy this, right-click, go to address, right-click, paste, and hit OK. And we can see 6384. And this is for Big E Langston. So 6384, is it labeled? Yes, it is labeled as Big E Langston here. Now, if we change this, we would get a different winning animation. But it's kind of hard for me to uh, showcase different winning animations. But it is, it is the same process as changing entrance animations. So you just have to test around and see who you want to use. Oh, and hopefully I can get some help in filling out this particular table and figuring out who has each winning animation. Now, this has just been a short tutorial to help you out with entrance animations. Uh, this is also usable for things like music hex, uh, titantron hex, minitron hex, things like that. So if you have different minitron values that you want to use but cannot edit in game you can use these hex values to move around the file and not have to edit the move set in the standard data if you don't want to use say xpacker xpacker has a lot of these available when you edit the move set itself if you have any questions folks let me know in the comment section hopefully this has been a help to you to help you customize your entrances and exits as much as you like. This has been Possum, and I thank you for your time.